Hey guys, what's good? About half an hour away from kickoff, it's game day, game day. And um, team news is out. It looks like your boy Mustafi's in the team. Yeah, anyway, yeah. It's not, it's not gonna be one of those games where we're playing the top six, so I'm sure we can carry him through this. And uh, so what it is, is uh, Kashani's carrying an ankle knock. Uh, Zaka also is out. So Gwendozi and Mustafi then guys are coming in. Uh, Abamian obviously is not feeling well after he came back. So it looks like um, Ozil's back in. It will be is the guy that comes in as well to take that spot, uh, which is the reason why I think they're switching back to the old uh, system where we're going one up front, um, which is, you know, this is Newcastle. They've won two games away from home all season. So it's... It's not what we would like to see. It's not us going all guns blazing, which is a shame because I really wanted to see us step out in that formation against uh, Man United and Spurs with the two up front and Ozil sitting behind in the 3-4-1-2. But uh, we're going to have to wait for that. We've got plenty of games left. There's still, after this game, still six or seven games left. But um, we just need the three points. I don't care how we do it. We just need the three points. So that's really the team sheet, guys. A uh, couple of injuries, a couple of knocks. I think uh, Lacazette is going to be nice and fresh, and I think he's going to be good enough to do it. I think Ozil's going to have a blinder today, and I hope that the system isn't going to ruin us too much. Mind you, we've had so much time in this system, should know it by the back of our hands. It's just we haven't been really good at it. Um, but it's Newcastle, and it's at home. We've been rock solid. We're bulletproof at home. So let's bring this one home, lads. Let's bring this one home. 2 nil. I'm going for. I'll speak to you guys and pick this up with you after I find some parking. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Peace, guys. Okay, guys, there you have it. I predicted 2 nil, And it's exactly how it ended up. It was quite a flat game in the first half. It was nil nil. There wasn't really that much going on. Newcastle came in five at the back, made things difficult. It was always going to be hard if they were setting up like that. And unfortunately, it was uh, quite difficult with us playing with the lone striker up front and three number tens. And um, yeah, in the end, it paid dividends. It was the three number tens that did all the damage. It will be, didn't have a great game, but Ozil was absolutely fantastic today. Only one person to give man of the match to, and that was Amma Ramsey. Very, very good game from him, and it's so sad. Every time you see him play like this, you're just thinking, why are you going? But, you know, that's what it's like. That's, what, that, that's the game, and we've got to, we've got to sign him off. So, um, again, great win. Gwendozi handled a lot of stuff in the middle, and there were some lateral passes that were, were just really off the pace, and he does hold on to the ball too long. Unfortunately, you know, he's 19 years old. We're going to have to go with that and he's still in his development stage. It just makes you know that he's going to be a fantastic player down the road. But um, again, Klasnach and Niles on the wings playing absolutely fantastic. The, the, the amount of pressure and, uh, that Arsenal was putting on the ball from the win backs and also from Monreal and Klasnach was, was just fantastic. We played hard without the ball and that's what really made this game pay off. And again, Lacazette holding up the ball, the quality of play that he was bringing to the game for full 90 minutes. He tried hard as well to get Bamiang a goal and nearly succeeded. But the goal that he scored, Lacazette, was absolutely world class. It was worth the price of admission. And um, this was just a great game, guys. It went an hour with no shots on goal, no shots on target, no shots whatsoever. The two disallowed goals, I think, should have been given to Arsenal. And the last one was given at handball, and it was actually the goalkeeper's hand that it came off. So I have no idea what's going on. But what I do know is when VAR comes in next season, Arsenal are going to be of an advantage because it seems like all the bad decisions are going our way. But um, fantastic. Spurs are now looking up at us and we're looking down at Spurs. St. Tottering in day is coming and I cannot wait to celebrate. So there you have it, guys. A 2-0 will for the Gunners. Aaron Ramsey, man of the match. And we'll pick this up over the weekend. Peace out, everybody.